Hey there everyone, it's Helen. I'm the national artist for Sephora Collection. And on today's Beauty Newbie, I'm going to teach you how to get a bouncy blowout on short hair. That's right, it's not just for people with long locks. Us shorties deserve a blowout too, and I'm gonna show you how to get it. Let's get started. All right, so my hair is super wet and it is ready for a rough dry. So I'm going to apply a couple of products in before I do that just to heat protect and really make sure that my hair is hydrated. I'm going to use the Moroccan Oil Hydrating Styling Cream. This is great. It's a super lightweight cream, so I feel like anybody can really use it. You just take a bit, a full pump is great, work it between your hands, and then really work it into your hair. So I do like a light touch at the top because you don't want too much or all the product to be deposited in the top. And then I work it through the back. If you have thicker hair, you might need to section it and apply it in those sections because you just wanna make sure that you're really coating your hair with the styling cream. So I love this one. It's really great and lightweight. Highly recommend trying it. Next, I am going to part my hair and work it into sections. So I like to comb through the styling cream. Um, you can do this with a brush as well. I like to use a comb because I know I'm going to give myself a straight part down the middle. If you're more free and easy with your part, you do not have to establish your part right off the bat. So I already have the Moroccan Oil Hydrating Styling Cream in my hair. Now I need some heat protection. You always wanna use heat protection when you're giving yourself a blowout. It just really helps to protect your hair. So I'm using the Orbe Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray. This is just great for protecting your hair and giving you a really smooth look. Okay, if you're a beauty newbie and you're not super familiar with how to give yourself a perfect blowout, fear not, the Dyson Airwrap Styler is here. It is seriously worth the investment, it's amazing. I'm going to use my personal Dyson Airwrap Styler. They make new ones in different colors all the time. I'm going to use the pre-styling dryer first, so you just kind of twist it in, it's super simple. This is great because you can control the airflow and the temperature and give yourself a cold blast and keep it on that, which I love as well. So I am just going to turn it on full blast, full heat, everything. Okay, so you can see that this is really what a rough dry looks like. I would say your hair is about 90% dry. And I used my fingers to really help direct my hair as well as detangle it as I'm giving it that rough dry. So now I'm going to switch attachments to the round volumizing brush. And that's the brush that's really going to give you the perfect bouncy blowout, especially for short hair. This is the perfect size. So I also want to section out my hair now that we're going into the full styling mode. So I just do half and I always feel like if you have short hair, start at the bottom half. It's super important to make sure that this part gets styled nicely so it's laying like a good foundation for the rest of the hair. I'm gonna put it on a slightly lesser heat setting. So just clicking it down one. And then this really does create a lot of like bounce and curl on its own. You just have to pull through. It's super simple. And I'll just show you as we go. I mean, one section, it's already super bouncy. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to let down another section. I'm actually gonna do this in three sections because I really want it to be as bouncy as possible. And when you have short hair, the bottom layers are much shorter than the top. And so you can really play with the length um, at the top when you get there. So now we're at like the medium length. As you work your way um, around and you have the longer layers, you'll start to see that I'm twisting my hair more around the barrel and this will really create that like bounce to your hair. So um, just keep that in mind. It's a little different than when you're at the base of your hair. So you saw that as I was blow drying my hair and pulling it out and twisting the tool, I also had my hand sort of guiding around it. Just be careful, it's a hot tool. Um, if you do need to touch it or change things out, these stay cool, so just be aware of that. When I'm doing the top sections of my hair, it's the longest section, so you can twist a lot more to get that bounce. And I always start like first and second doing the front parts. It just, that's what people see the most, so you want it to look good. Oh, 
This is another tip. If you are done with a section, you can do a little twist and set it to the side, especially for a bouncy blowout because the whole thing is that it's supposed to be a little bit curly, so totally fine to have a little twist in it and it just helps to keep the dry hair out of the way. And another tip is to start blow drying your hair more upwards. This will give you a lot of a lift at the root, which is awesome for a bouncy blowout. Now I want to tame these flyaways. I love this day prickly pear hair oil. First of all, it makes your hair super duper shiny, but it also helps with the taming of the flyaways and hydrates your hair. I only need like, you know, a tiny pump. You don't want a ton of it. Work it between your hands. It is a little heavier of an oil, so if it's too much um, as you pump it out, just start at the base of your hair to sort of smooth everything out, make it look better, and then, then you can go in at the very top, and you can see I'm doing this like really lightly. I'm not pressing down. Um, you don't want your hair to look oily, and you don't want to take away the volume that you just gave yourself, but it is a great way to give yourself extra shine to finish off the bouncy curls. I love how bouncy and light this blowout turned out. This tool is super easy to use and gives you definitely a salon worthy blowout at home. I would love to hear what blowout products you're using at home in the comments below. And as always, like and subscribe. And until next time, bye everyone.